What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we are taking a look at my Casio. Again, this is the Casio that I filled with oil. This is the MRW. I filled it with, with um, silicone oil. I'll put a link to that video above so that you could check that out if you wanna watch that before uh, you watch this video. Uh, at the end of that video, I said I would be sending this out to a watch repair shop who would test the water resistance for me. I actually sent it to a shop in Chicago. They kept the watch for three months. Prior to me sending it to them, I discussed what I wanted done, why I was doing it, uh, and they agreed and said they could do it. I obviously was paying for it. I didn't uh, expect it for free, so... Uh, I sent them the watch. They kept the watch for about three months before they got back to me. I emailed them numerous times. Uh, and then at the end of the three months, they essentially told me they were not able to test the watch because they were afraid that their equipment would get destroyed if the watch failed and the oil basically spread onto their equipment. Uh, they have a chamber that they put the watch in and they did not want to take that chance. Not sure why they told me to send the watch to them in the first place. It was a big waste of my time and frankly a waste of their time as well. Uh, I'm very, very unhappy with, uh, with what they did. Um, but uh, I, I'll, I'll consider putting a link to their, um, their, their uh, repair shop in the description only so that you could avoid them because uh, it did take a very, very, very long time for them to take a look at this watch. Um, and they kept on sending me weird emails that the repair had been had begun and then um and then it was it was completed and then it was began again and then it was completed um and there was no repair to be done i just wanted them to water test the watch that's it uh and then they uh, eventually contacted me asked me for the shipping to return the watch uh they sent me an email apologizing um, and I'm not sure why they would do that. They they made it even worse because they just said that they weren't able to test it because they weren't they didn't want to destroy their machinery. Really, they should have just told me that from the beginning, and I wouldn't have sent it to them in the first place. But either way, so then I got the watch back. I sent it back out to another watchmaker. This was an amateur watchmaker who uh, essentially fixes watches out of his home. I guess it's a side business or a side hustle, and uh, he was able to water test the watch to 1,000 meters. Um, now, I don't have any documentation for this because he was an amateur. However, I am going to be sending it out to a third watchmaker just to make sure that his uh, assessment of the watch was correct. Now, what happened is a little bit of oil did come out of the watch and you can see that the bubble got larger. He did not open up the watch, he told me. He did not open it. He said that a little bit of oil came out through the bezel and no oil really came out through the back. He said just a little bit by the crown. He cleaned it up and sent it back to me, uh, but he said that it did not fail. The watch is working obviously perfectly. Uh, oil came out of the watch and it only started coming out after the test, after the pressure was relieved. Uh, and then a little bit of oil came out. He got up to, he said the pressure was up to a thousand meters and then it was, uh, it was, uh, the, he completed the test. He didn't go any further. And then they, a little bit of oil came out. So, um, again, I'm not sure how scientific the test was. Uh, he mentioned that there was a specific tool that he used and uh, I have to go back through my emails and I'll put a link to that, uh, tool in the description. Uh, however, that was the result. So apparently this is a 1000 meter dive watch now. Uh, it was a hundred meter dive watch prior to me sending it and filling it, obviously filling it with oil. So uh, 900 meters gained apparently from this test. Now I will send it back out and I will update the comments below uh, just so that you guys know when, it, when I get it back again. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money. This guy actually did it for only 30 bucks, but I, I, uh, I want to get it done by a more professional shop so that I have some paperwork to prove that my watch is a thousand meters. Uh, it's just really for my own, uh, my own amusement really for, for no other reason. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Don't forget to follow me on uh, Instagram at watch Chris blog. 
Uh, also, there's some links in the description. There's actually links to this watch and the oil that I used. Uh, if you use those links to buy anything, uh, I am compensated by Amazon slightly for anything that you buy. You're not uh, charged anything from Amazon. Uh, everything remains the same price. It just uh, they compensate me slightly. And that is very appreciative because it helps support the channel. Uh, anyway, please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.